When it came to the parent-child dynamics, I was raised in an era that said you must always respect your parents, no matter how old you are. I was taught to honor thy mother and father and always respect your elders. These were key ideologies that I had no choice but to follow, or I, there would have been consequences, and y'all know what type of consequences I'm talking about. Today, though, many people feel that parents must earn respect and not just be given it. Latrice is a mother and a grandmother who believes that her daughter's violent and reckless behavior is breaking her family apart. Latrice says she is met with disrespect and she is tired of it. Everyone, please help me welcome Latrice. Thank you for being here, Latrice. You're welcome. Thank so, you for having me. I want to start off right now. There's tension between you and your daughter. When did that start? Well, Karamo, I really need your help really bad with this this girl. She is just she's working my nerves. Like she really hurt my feelings a lot all the time. Like I'm just tired of her. Mm -hmm. And it first started when she turned 18. I don't know, she just flipped. She just was a whole different person, a person I didn't even recognize. Mm, wow, what do you mean when you say she's reckless, though? Reckless because her mouth. She, like, called me when she turned 18. Mm -hmm. She was calling me names like bees. Uh, I don't know. Oh, saying. yeah, okay, and she's then, calling you a B word. Yep, and um, telling me I was a bum and I was broke. You are her mother, and she's calling you the B word and telling you that you are broke and other things? And a bum. What? How old were you when you had um, your daughter? 15. 15. What was that like for you? Horrible. Mm hmm Why? Mm -hmm. Family. Me a bit young. Did That's your, why. Did your family support you? I guess you could say that. I guess you could say that to a degree. I didn't like neglect all the way, but yeah, to a degree. There's still some pain there. A lot. Yeah, I can see it. What, what's causing that pain from back then? Uh, just being neglected from my mom, my dad, and, and then family all together, and now my daughter, she want to do the same thing. So what happens when you try to talk to Kaisha about her behavior? She's, well, the last time she was just, she just had left and went to Appleton without even telling me and took my grandbabies too. So I didn't even get a chance to see my last grandbaby when she, she was born. I didn't mm -hmm. see her till after a year. Wow, okay. So, so she was like, when she come back, oh, mom, I'm so sorry. I don't know why I treated you like that. And I'm like, Kaisha, it's okay. You know, I just want to make it better now. I don't want to keep dwelling on our past Got because it. that's not going to fix anything. When's the last time you saw Kaisha? About a month ago when she claimed she was going to go to the to um, to school board mm -hmm. and then didn't come back for five days. So I was calling her trying to find out if she was okay and did, she didn't take no change of clothes for the girls. And I'm like, okay, well you didn't take no change of clothes. She's like, oh, well mama bought new clothes. I'm like, why would you buy new clothes when they have new clothes here? Why are you wasting money? Mm -hmm. And stuff like that. Oh mom, I'm not wasting money. And I'm like, okay, Kaisha, you know, that's fine. Yeah. But when you coming back? Um, we just out here having fun. Having fun for five days mm. with no coming home, changing clothes, washing them girls' butt. Where are y'all? Yeah. Where are you at? Where you at with my grandbabies? Mm, understandable. So these are young children. Yeah, little okay? girls. I understand. Listen, I love hearing your side of the story because it gives me a lot of perspective, especially you asking me for help. But now I need to talk to your daughter, Kaisha. Kaisha, come on out, please. for being on my show. Please take a seat. Um, Kaisha, so I can see that you don't want to sit next to your mother. Why not? Because everything she's saying back there is a lie. You don't listen to me. You block me out. You cut me out your life. And you called CPS on me. And I have not ran to you when the CPS got called to me because of the schools. And that's what you don't get. They called because my child had eczema. And I have not ran to you a couple times. You put your hands on me for no apparent reason. A lot of times. Kaisha, I want to know, because you just said a lot right there that uh, is shocking me right now. So you're, what happened between you all? You're saying that your mother called CPS on you and your children? My mama have done a lot. I ain't called no CPS, but yes, that's what did. she said. They said, no, think. I left Friday. I did go do what I had to do for my child. That was with my friend. And my friend bought my clothes for my child and mm -hmm. me. Mm. We washed our butts, but when, as she's sitting here lying on TV, brought me on here for what? She's a compulsive liar. I'm not a compulsive liar. You are. Yeah, whatever. That's all you do. 
Right. You don't right. listen to me. You're right, Kaisha. You're right. You're you right. break me out, you block You're me right, out. You're right, Kaisha. You're right. You told totally me right. You, you said, I don't care for you. I care for you more than anybody. Well, you took just, money from me. I'm just telling you right now you today. You took me. If you, don't, you, you don't give me no respect as of today, like I told you before, respect. it's over. I don't want respect. nothing else to do with you. You never You can gave take your me kids none. and go. Y'all could just go. You never Because I don't want to deal with it no more. I'm done. Latrice, I'm totally done. Latrice, I want to know, why does Kaisha think that you stole her money? I don't know what kind of money I supposed to stole from now her. I gave you three thousand dollars. You gave, gave it. get it right. right. Gave no something that you owed it. I don't me. owe you nothing. You stayed with me over a year for free. And I don't owe you a penny. You didn't pay for no food, no my nothing. Whole life. Your whole life. You told me out your mouth that I owe you since a child. I never told yes, you that. Yes, you have. No, I did not. Yes, you have. Oh, I should have never came to the show with this girl. I swear I should have just stayed at home because this is ridiculous. Well, no, because you if you want help, show. you came on the right place because I, I... want to be able to support you all. I want to know, Kaisha, from you. You said three weeks ago you moved out. I want to tell them what happened. I didn't move out. She kicked me out. That's a lie. That's not a lie. I got the messages. You want to see it? I never told you you yes, had to you leave. Yes, you did. I never I said that. You told me. I do want to you see told these me messages. you could come get your stuff and go. Yes, but I, I, I told out. you could come and get your stuff but because I wasn't you wasn't leaving. That's not the point. I don't have to tell you what I got to do. Okay, you're right. You don't. You got to tell me nothing. You're right. You can stay in my house and tell me you nothing. Know. You totally right. Uh, you right. When you can stay with me, you can do whatever you like. You don't have to tell okay, me anything. Kaisha, I want to know. Kaisha, I want to know something. Is this the message you said that's from your mother? It says, "I'm not your mother. I don't want to be your mom, and I will not claim you." What could possibly make a mother say that to their child, Latrice? She's been saying that in her life. Because that's how she is. She's a liar. No, you are. That's, listen. Well, I, I'm just asking you, and, and, and I'm understand, I'm, like, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not making, there's no bad guy right here for me mm. right now, so I want to make sure that's clear. I'm asking. I'm just trying to understand. I'm reading a message where you said, I can't take no I, more. Hold on, I'm seeing another one that says You're you called her, uh, Kaisha, a dummy and a stupid B word I'm and a stank, you know, I'm looking at the message. This was after she had already done sent a voicemail to my my daughter's phone, Latrice's phone, and said that if I left, oh well, I don't have to come back if I don't want to. She's but, still but lying, I'm, bro. But this She's is my thing right here. Lying, this is bro. my She's thing right here. Lying. Latrice, did you really text your daughter the B word? I hope you die a slow death. I did because of what she had been saying. Good oh, Lord. I never said nothing like to you. I never what? wished you dead Why? ever in my she... life. Her side of the story is not all, all true. I, listen, no matter what pain we're in and no matter what we're going through, I can't mm -hmm. imagine what would bring you to say to your child you wish they die a slow death. Because she has done that to me. Oh, Sarah, she called the police on me. I don't know how many times trying to send me Danger. to jail. Danger. Danger. Taisha, why, why, do you why do you think your mother sent I those I was supposed to be around my kids around her. Because mm -hmm. she done hurt me. Multiple times she done tried to kill me in my baby before in the bed. Don't even Yo, baby. You, mom, you hit me with my kids in my arm. Now you want to lie? Yo, well, baby, I, I try to kill your you, baby. You don't try to hit me with my kids in my arm. So you want to sit here and lie on television TV? And I told you TV. to put that baby down. And I told you for what? Because so we're not going to fight. your mouth was too slick. And yours is as well. And I'm your mom. Aisha, I need to know from you, what goes through your mind when you read your mother's messages like that? That it hurts. It really do, because I had never told her I wish she did. I never told her I would do that. I never, I never can have a, common, a good conversation with her without her having an attitude or something. She said, I'm always having one. And then she said, nasty, say, let's see, I cleans up. I clean the dish and I clean my hands That's every time. Lie. So I don't see how I'm nasty. And the respect that she still here here lying on this tape couch That's is getting lie. on my nerves right now. Well, this is the thing. You said also that you think your mother called CPS. So Teresa, I she wanna did, ask you, did the you same call thing. CPS? She the only person it, she the only one I know I left Friday. So why why would you call CPS on your daughter? I didn't call CPS on her. I don't know why she feels that way. This is not the first time she was just at Apple today just trying to take her kids there. When she first had her first baby, she came to me, Mom, I got to get away from there. CPS on that way. Okay, fine, Kaisha, come on in. You can come on in. You can stay for a year. I thought she was trying to get her house, so I didn't ask her for no rent because mm. I thought she was saving up her money. But instead, she was giving her money to her baby's dad. Kaisha, That's I a lie. Can see, Kaisha, I can see that the anxiety and everything in your body language. What do you think, then, is the problem between you and your mother? that she cannot stop talking the way she talks to me. She trying to control everything I do. I never respect, respect this lady. She always been doing a lot of stuff to me that that was wrong. She talked about I left at 18, she put me out at 17. I was still in school. Girl, you was 18, I was 17. Aisha. You was 18. I was 17. You went to jail and sat when you were 17, love. But we moved. Don't call you me. had turned 18 already. You said, love, but you don't want me to call you mama. No, I don't. 
Why would you tell her not to call you mom? Because I felt like she don't care about me. She called the police me on three times for what? I didn't even do anything. Dad, what else you did do, mom? You I didn't even do nothing. Lying, I, she bro. went to I went and got her, her my, my two grandbabies, mm -hmm. and she went to the hospital with the last. Not baby. letting me talk. And I she said thinks she's right. I'm let her keep thinking she's and right. And I said um, she's right. She let me keep the babies, and then she went into labor. The babies were soaking wet from head to toe, soaked and wet because they was in the rain. I kept the babies, brought them home, dried them up, put them in a the bath, put them on new clothes and everything. And I'm like, she went in labor. I'm like, hey, what well, can I just keep them? Because I hadn't seen them in a while. Can I just keep them? Yeah. No, my best friend is gonna keep them. I'm like, but why, Kaisha? Why? Like, why can't I see my grandbabies? Mm. No, no. And then next thing I know, the Still police lying. done came to the house. Mm. See, I know you've been trying. I know you've been trying. Hold on, hear me out, Kaisha. I know you've been trying, and Kaisha, what you've been experiencing is your truth as well. What's happening here is that there is a cycle. These are generational cycles. And I'm gonna tell you, start off with you. Mm -hmm. You were 15 mm -hmm. and grew up in a broken home. Mm -hmm. And you had a child and you lost your childhood. Mm -hmm. You lost your childhood. And you never had anybody in that house that cared about you and loved you and showed you what to do. Mm -hmm. Am I getting it on the nail? Yeah, that's correct. And it hurt you. It hurt you. And it's confusing me why she's that way now. So let me tell you something. You tried your best as much as you could with the knowledge you had to try to be there for her. Mm -hmm. But what happened is you truly didn't have all the knowledge. No, you I don't, truly I didn't. didn't have all the tools. No, I didn't. And what happened is unconsciously, mm -hmm. the things that you went through in your childhood house, mm -hmm. you brought into the house with your daughter. When I look at those texts, those are messages that you got from family members. Those are things that made you feel like you, didn't, you weren't worthy. You told me right here. You brought that into your house this, because you didn't know any better. This is my thing. When I didn't do none of those things, though, I was really, I was trying to break the well, cycle. Hear me, hear me out, hear me out. You think you were trying to break the cycle, but you didn't. I, and it's okay. You tried to break the cycle, but you didn't have the tools. Mm -mm. And so even right now, you're like, I tried to, but you got to acknowledge I didn't break it. Because if you would have broke it, I would have never been able to read a text like, daughter, I wish you died. It was, it's after, it was after the buildup. No, it wasn't. It doesn't matter the buildup. Hear, no, hear me out. Listen to me. Listen to me. It doesn't matter when it happened. You weren't able to break the cycle. And so what happened is that when anything that triggered you from your past came up, it just triggered you to go straight into what you were taught as a child. You me out this is what keys. you were taught. This is what you were taught as a child, and you tried to break it, but you weren't able to because you didn't have the skills. Kaisha, I'm going to ask you a question. Because you are a product now of the cycle. I want to ask you this, because I've heard some things about going on in your family, and I'm not saying you're a bad mother at all, but I'm hearing some things. Do you believe that the cycle is continuing with you? How do you treat your children sometimes? I, 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 I could say I could be me here and there. You beat them? But, but I, I, no, 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 don't, don't, don't do that. Because do that, do I don't do beat that. my child. Hold on, hold on. Or but you just that. said, because you were almost there before, is there moments with, with your children that you think maybe I haven't made all the right decisions? I can say so. Yes, and I'm not blaming you either. Hear me out. You didn't get the tools. You didn't get the tools. You didn't get the tools and you didn't get the tools. Neither of you are horrible women. Neither of you are horrible mothers. You are people that are in a situation where you don't know how to break the cycle. This is generational pain that is being passed down and down. And it can end with you, but it has to be acknowledged and you got to start to figure out how to communicate. I have tried that with her. That's the thing. I can't keep this pushing so myself let me be real with someone with you. who Let me tell y'all something. She blocks me. Let me tell you something. Hold on. Hear me, out. Hear me out, Kaisha. You all, unfortunately, can't unbreak the cycle together. And so that's why y'all are going in circles. That's why it's called a cycle, because y'all don't know how to communicate, because the only thing you're communicating from is trauma. So what I want to do for you two is I'm going to offer you therapy today. Please, please. Can you make the commitment for me? Can you make the commitment? For me? Can you make the commitment to go to therapy to heal that little girl that's in you? I, to heal that little girl in you. So that you can start to heal the little girl that's sitting there. She's not going to Can change. you, can you commit to therapy? <sighs> Yeah, but she's not going the to The answer is yes. Just say yes. Yes. You can commit to healing that little girl. I'm going to give you. Listen, I understand in the black community, we don't have access to therapy and the tools we need. I'm offering it to you so you can heal that girl. Okay. 
Yes? Accept. Hold on, where are you going? I'll tell you where you're going. Right here to subscribe and right here to watch more, period.